Routing your Samsung device just got easier. In this video, I'll show you how to route your phone using Kernel SU in a way that's simple, safe, and effective. For this demonstration, I'm using a Samsung S23, running the latest Android 14, and my bootloader is already unlocked. If your bootloader is still locked, you must unlock it before proceeding. If you're unsure how to do that, check out my bootloader unlocking tutorial linked in the description. One of the best things about Kernel SU is that it allows root access while remaining undetectable by most banking apps so you can still use them without issues after rooting. Visit the official Kernel SU GitHub repository and download the latest Kernel SU APK. Install it on your phone and open the app. If it displays not installed, your device is compatible with Kernel SU and can be rooted. However, if it says not supported, then Kernel SU will not work on your phone. Next, check your kernel version from the app and write it down. Keep in mind that the Android OS version and the kernel Android version are two different things. Like my phone is running Android 14, but my kernel Android version is 13. Once you have the kernel version, extract the KMI version from it. For example, if your kernel version is this, then the first part represents the Linux kernel version and the second part represents the Android version it was built for. We just need these two things. To find the correct file on kernel su github repository, reverse the order of your KMI version. You can also find this in your phone's settings about phone section. Now open the release page of kernel su repo and find the exact KMI version image for your device. After locating the exact KMI version, you'll see three archive files with the same version. Always download the one that ends with boot.img.gz. After downloading the file, extract it in your PC and you'll get an image with a .img extension. Rename this file to boot.img. After that, compress it into a .tar format. You can use 7-zip or any other compression tool for this. Save the tar file in your preferred location and connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable. And boot it in download mode. To boot into download mode, restart your phone while it's connected. When the screen goes black, quickly press and hold both volume buttons until your device enters download mode. Now, download and install Odin and the Samsung USB drivers. Links are in the video description. Once done, open Odin and in the AP slot, select the boot.tar file. If Odin detects your phone, a blue slot will appear, confirming the connection. Click the Start button to begin flashing the boot image. Once the process is complete, Odin will automatically reboot your phone. After your phone restarts, open the Kernel SU app. If it now shows running, that means your Samsung device is successfully rooted. 
you now have full root access, and thanks to Kernel SU, most banking apps won't detect the root, allowing you to use them without any issues. And if you want to root your Samsung phone without a PC, go ahead and check out this video. That's it for this video. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe. See you in the next one.